Let's move uh, to our next current form guy and talk about Tom Hoagie, who we've actually discussed a couple of times now in the current form section because he's been trending up for a bit. And he is back on the slate this week. He is $8,400. I like this range a lot. Hoagie is a portion of why I like this tier. What do you see with him right now? So he hasn't played for two weeks, but definitely still qualifies for a good current current form uh, to me. Uh, prior to that two-week gap, he was 60th at Pebble Beach, so not great. But before that, things were looking up. Uh, 25th at the Waste Management, 5th at the Farmers, 6th at the American Express, 12th at the Sony to start 2020. And again, he's only $8,400. So if you get anything resembling like a top 20 from someone down here, you can't really hate it. Uh Bermuda is Hoagie's only positive putting surface, according to Fantasy National. His adjusted approach numbers, according to Data Golf, were quite good uh, in 2020. So he kind of wasn't even initially on my radar. He's kind of been out of my mind for the past few weeks. But at $8,400, I like him. And I'm, I'm keep, I keep talking about building uh, like safer lineups. But if you want that high end, I mean, we've seen long shot winners like not 50 to one uh, winners here. So I'm not saying Tom Hoagie's going to win, but there's also, you can make the case for that balance lineup that I just talked about, or you can say, I'm going to play Brooks. I'm going to play Fleetwood, maybe Fowler. And like, I don't know what you have left from there, but like <laughs> you could really max things out if you're going to, yeah. if you're going to bump down to this range. So what are your thoughts on Hoagie? Yeah. I think there are three golfers who are $8,500 or lower who have a, very good case to be in DFS lineups this weekend. Uh, those three guys are Sam Burns, um, our guy Cameron Tringali, and Tom Hoagie. Those guys are all $8,500 or lower. Burns, you're kind of buying into very, very recent current form in order to get there, but good distance. Hoagie, very good approach play, uh, so kind of the opposite of Sam Burns. Tringali, decently well-rounded. And I like that. So I think there are reasons to buy into all of them. And I think that that's going to push me towards, it's going to allow me to try to avoid that nasty, nasty low 9,000 tier that I despise with every bone in my body. And I desperately want to do that. So Hoagie, Tringali, Burns, all guys I am comfortable using and guys I actively want to use because of the way the different tiers shape up for this event. 